Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I feel like every intro is like in my car, but there you go. I'm a mom on the go. This morning has been a little bit crazy. Nora has uh, definitely just been like full of energy, but kind of full of like that naughty energy. Like, you know, she needs to just like get her wiggles out, go somewhere, get out of the house. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a-okay with getting out of the house today too. Today I'm just filming a vlog for you guys, sharing a little bit, a real day in my life, how I incorporate WW and everything into that. So this morning we were actually at our local library and we're gonna try and go to story time. And I say try because I swear this library is like the stroller mafia. If you don't get here a half hour before the library opens and get in line, you don't get a pass for their free story time program. Sometimes we've been able to make it in. Other times I end up needing to go find something to do and then we go to the later one. The only problem with the later session of story time is it kind of runs close to nap time, which is why the first one is so popular. Let's battle it out and see if we can get into this morning's story time. Okay. You got it. We got him. We had some fun at story time. Did you go to story time today? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was lots of fun. Quick run into H-E-B for one thing I forgot that I need for our dinner today. Hey guys, I am back from doing library time with Nora and our quick one to the grocery store. I actually did well this time. You guys know I struggle to run to the grocery store for just an item or two. I end up with like a cart full every time. But today I was good. I came home with the mushrooms that I need for dinner tonight. And then the only other thing I bought, because it was on a really good sale, look at how amazing this pineapple looks. It is like gold from head to toe. Smells super sweet. I always know that's how I pick a good pineapple is, is it mostly golden color, less green? Otherwise leave it sit on the counter for a few days um, and also smell the bottom. If it smells like super sweet, like pineapple cotton candy, you know you got a good one. The last time I bought a pineapple a couple of weeks ago, I got it all cut up and my family ate through it so fast. So this is one that's like, it's such a sweet, delicious tropical fruit that I will actually sit and eat some of this fresh pineapple for dessert later tonight. But now I'm about to get Nora down for a nap. She's just finishing up her lunch and then I will make my own lunch after she's down. I'm exhausted. Nora is fighting nap so hard today. She didn't nap at all yesterday. She just cried and cried and cried until I took her out of there. Um, she's kind of shifted back to her normal wake up time, which is 6.30 in the morning. But yesterday we put her down for bed at like six o'clock. She didn't nap. Today she's fighting nap again and she's so tired. She really needs one. So I've spent the last like hour getting her, trying to get her down. She's finally gotten quiet. I hope she can get a bit of a nap in because by now we only have like an hour until I have to go get Lila from school. Anyway, I'm also really hungry. All I've had so far this morning is a Premier Protein. I grabbed one of those for my breakfast slash coffee. Some of you guys asked me what I do for my profi coffee in the morning. It just kind of depends on what I have at home. Right now, the Premier Protein flavors I have at home are the Cafe Latte version, and those, the Cafe Latte flavor of Premier Protein, it's two points for one shake, and they contain caffeine in them already. They contain the same amount of caffeine as like one cup of coffee, I think the box says. Um, when I don't have that flavor at home, the regular Premier Protein drinks like the chocolate, the peanut butter, those don't necessarily have caffeine in them. They are still two points a shake for the protein, but what I do if I have one of those instead is I add a double shot of espresso to it and I put them over ice always. But that means it's after 1.30 and I've only had a Premier Protein shake today, so not great. I definitely have plenty of points left for the rest of my day, but uh, it wasn't intentional, it just got busy. I was expecting to be able to eat like a snack or lunch a lot earlier than this. It's just been one of those days where you just wake up and you're on the run. So I'm about to make a sandwich for lunch, but can we take a minute and just admire this beaut? You can't really hear the crackle as much anymore. I made this bread last night. This is my first loaf of sourdough I've made here since we moved. I got my starter back up and going. It has not been easy this time around. I've had to do the starter over like multiple times. I did have some dried starter that I brought with me from Georgia from my previous sourdough starter. I just rehydrated it and fed it until it became live and active again. If you guys are new to sourdough, um, it can be really difficult to get it started. But once it is started, it's actually really difficult to kill it. It takes a lot of love and energy, but I love making homemade bread and food for my family. So I'm going to use two pieces of this sourdough bread to make a turkey and cheese sandwich, just something simple and quick that I can eat. And I already hear Nora still quacking away in there, so looks like this might be another failed nap day for me.
Well, I plan to try and like do some meal prep baking to share with you guys this afternoon, but it's been a hard afternoon for a little miss. Toddler life is hard. Snack, 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 they say. They're both lined up for some popcorn today. All right, give me your bowls. Pop, pop, pop time. Pop, 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 pop. Where's your cup, Nor? Put it on the counter. Good job. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. Thank you, Mommy. Welcome, babe. She refuses to leave the lids on. I knew it. I knew it. Two feet away, and she spilled half of it. Millie, did you get some pop pop too? This is why daddy says we should have called you Hoover. Mommy's turn for a snack. I showed you guys prepping a like veggie tray for the fridge in my last grocery haul. We started it last week and I have like cleaned and refilled this so many times because my kids eat so many more veggies when I just like have everything cut up and ready to go. So we're like completely out of carrots, um, almost out of cucumbers and sugar snap peas. They don't eat the bell peppers or the raw broccoli as much, but you know what? These are my favorite. So I'm gonna have some with some more of my zero point ranch dip. This is plain unfat Greek yogurt with ranch seasoning mix. And then I just put a tiny bit of water in to make it the right consistency. A delicious zero point snack. Okay, hey guys, um, Josh just got home. So he is with the girls. They're finishing watching a movie um, before dinner. And I'm just trying to take a few minutes <laughs> to get a workout in because as we were gone at the library and running errands this morning, I didn't get outside for a walk. So I am on my B can rebounder. You guys ask me all the time. I have this linked in my description box. Um, I started using it at the beginning of January. I did really good for the first 30 days. I did great in January with my weight loss goals. Um, and now I am trying to get back into the habit of using it every day. It's supposed to be really gentle on your joints, like your knees and your ankles. And I just kind of do a little bounce workout. I try to do like 15 minutes at a time and yeah, gonna get the body moving for a little bit. Okay, that said, ignore my bed. I pulled all the sheets because I'm in the middle of doing laundry, like always. There's always another load of laundry to be done. We've had this conversation and you seem to- Time to make dinner. So tonight I'm doing some air fried roasted Brussels sprouts sauteed mushrooms, and then we're searing some ribeye on the stove top. For our steak, I just dry it off really well, seasoned simply with some pink Himalayan salt. I usually cook mine for three minutes on each side, flipping in the middle, and then flip it one more time for anywhere from two to four minutes, just depending on the thickness of the steak, with the goal just to be to hit that like 130, 135 mark, because I'll take it off and then let it rest for 10 minutes to finish reaching temp. And that gives me the perfect mid-rare every time. After the steak is cooked is when I slice up my mushrooms. Make sure you wash these well, but also dry them well. Mushrooms being dry when they go into your hot pan is how you're gonna get that nice golden brown color on them. So make sure not to skip the step of drying them. By the time the steak was done resting, the mushrooms were browned and the Brussels were perfectly air fried. I got everything portioned out and measured out and dinner was served.
Hey guys, just sitting in my office, um, starting to work on editing this video. Sorry, I'm looking very like, I think my shirt is reflecting off of like my face in the lights. <laughs> That's why I'm looking so red faced. I did have that workout earlier. Um, I actually had to wash my face too and my eyes were like going kind of crazy. I tried out a new mascara and I think it is just not for me. It looked nice, I think in the beginning of the video. Um, I was wearing it earlier today, but it kept flaking into my eyes. So I had to wash my face off. I did that just before I worked out earlier. So I'm a little, a little bit of hot mess express, but anyway. Dinner was so good. There's something about just like a simple cooked piece of meat along with some really delicious veggies that just make like a really satisfying but pretty healthy meal. The ribeye I went ahead and trimmed and I sliced it and then I made sure the key point is to measure out my ounces so I'm accounting for the points accurately. But as long as you account for the points accurately and balance with other healthy great foods throughout the day, it's totally possible to still enjoy like a really good steak while you're on a weight loss journey. And Paired with the delicious low point veggies that came out to only eight points for that dinner tonight. So if you missed my last video, I'm doing another video coming up after this that's going to be like a week of dinners where I'm focusing all the dinners to be predominantly like protein and veg. Just simple, easy, delicious. But for me personally, I've realized I feel really good after eating a meal like that for dinner, just like some protein and veggies and less complicated, not like all the different crock pots and casseroles and pasta dishes, just simple. I'm sure that's probably a combination of the fact that you know it's kind of sticking with that protein and veg for dinner and also the lower stress of having just like a piece of meat and some veggies on the side and not some big complicated dinner to make. After dinner, I went ahead and got that fresh pineapple all cut up and sliced. So I'm gonna enjoy a bowl of that for my evening snack today. I am way low on points today. It's because I accidentally missed out on eating like breakfast snack just because of how Nora and I's morning went. I get 46 points a day right now on WW and I think between my two point protein shake for breakfast, my 13 point sandwich and fruit and chips for lunch, my snack was zero points today. My dinner was only eight points. If I have some fresh pineapple for my dessert, that's zero points. So I'm coming in just at 22 points for the day out of 46. A lot of people I know have a hard time when they only get 23 points a day. I believe that is currently the lowest you can have while following WW, but it is possible. I feel pretty satisfied today, even though I missed out on breakfast. There are some other zero point options I could have added into my day to have an actual breakfast, but still have been right at this like 22, 23 points yogurt or cottage cheese with some fresh fruit would have been great or some eggs something to help get more protein in in the morning and eat a little something and add that actual meal but still stay at the same amount of points for the day total i have previously shared like a 23 point day on ww even though i don't only get 23 points i like to share some ideas for lower point meals and snacks for those of you who follow along and are a part of our community who are struggling to find some lower point options let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see another 20 three point day on WW. I am going to get this wrapped up and finished editing so I can post it for you guys to see. But thank you so much for coming along on this like chaotic kind of a what I eat in a day kind of a vlog video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and until next time, bye. I get up, I always do.